Hello and welcome to this Ingram MicroCloud uh, webinar where we're going to be talking about how you can start the new year right, start 2021 right and accelerate for success with a few programs that we've put in place to enable our Microsoft Ingram MicroCloud partners uh, to grow their cloud business across the entire Microsoft stack. Uh, as you can see, it's not just myself that's going to be presenting. I am going to be joined uh, by a couple of great people. But firstly, just to introduce myself, um, because I'm really selfish and want to hog the limelight. Uh, my name is Matthew Batterby. I am one of the global senior VPNs for uh, Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform, the whole kind of Microsoft biz apps. Uh, and my role is to uh, drive the, the, the growth strategy across uh, the globe for our Dynamics partners globally. Uh, I'm going to pass over to uh, John. Thanks, Matt. So, yeah, John Twilley, I'm a partner development manager in the IaaS space. Um, so for the point of this webinar, uh, Microsoft Azure, my role is to help our partners understand Microsoft, understand the programs available, and really get the benefits from uh, from what Ingram Micro Cloud can do for them. Uh, Pete, over to you. Thanks, John. Uh, so yeah, my name is Peter Graham. I am the partner development manager for the Modern Workplace. So covering anything across M365, Office 365, Windows, um, and again, just like John, helping uh, highlight to partners all the benefits that they have from selling those subscriptions, how to make the most of them, um, and, and develop strategies in growing their customer base through them as well. So yeah. And awesome. Thank cool. you very much, Pete. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go through the agenda. You'll have to bear with me two seconds. Just have a little bit of a little bit of technical issues here. Bear with me uh, one second. I love a live webinar when that happens. <laughs> I know you can't beat like it. Um, bear with me. Why is that? Right there we go. We're in the agenda now. Hopefully you can uh, see the agenda with us. Um, so yeah, today, um, you know, no surprises. We've got three people covering three different business areas from Microsoft. So we are going to be looking at the programs that we have in place to help you grow your modern workplace business, to help you if you're not currently um, having a Dynamics business, how you can get started and how you can accelerate your business there and also in the Azure space as well. So we're going to be taking a look at what the opportunity is, um, how we as Ingram MicroCloud really enable our partners to grow in those clouds um, and what Ingram MicroCloud has already achieved with partners as well. We've got some incredible success stories. Um, so we're going to be uh, sharing some of those. And then at the end, we've got some Q a so the good news with this one is um no not going to be death by powerpoint we've challenged ourselves to one slide each and then we're going to go into more of a q a uh, so i will hand over to pete great thanks matt um if you need a translator i'm afraid you'll just have to type in the chat what, what i'm trying to work out from my accent unfortunately um but yeah so um yeah so i'm from the modern workplace so i'm just going to go through really quickly what are some of the programs that we offer from an Ingram Micro perspective? We have um, Accelerate programs from each of the three clouds um, across Microsoft. And I just wanted to highlight, um, based on 2020, some of the great stuff that partners have been um, seeing a lot of great value from and, and the performance that they've had and the growth metrics um, off the back of these programs. So from a modern workplace perspective, as you can see highlighted here, 13% higher growth versus non-Accelerate partners. So partners that um, are not signed up to our Accelerate program that get all the greatest benefits, such as competitive pricing, um, access to training vouchers and webinars like this as well, and, and various other things, they have been performing much, much higher growth metrics versus partners who are not enrolled, and um, which is a really, really big thing. The, the other kind of side of things as well is um, partners um, are adding twice as many customers through the go-to-market support that we offer as well. So things like um, our go-to-market hub, uh, which is on our cloud marketplace, uh, it'll just be on the left-hand side. You'll, um, you'll get a host of benefits on there. Uh, such as sales guides um, for the team uh, on how to object, uh, handle objections uh, regarding some of the licensing that they may be selling. You'll also get things like marketing campaigns um, and, and various other different tools. And when partners are utilizing all these great uh, tools and functions and engaging with our go-to-market team, they're finding much, much um, easier ground to tackle those customers who are looking for 
advancements in their licensing. Um, but not only that as well, we offer um, some great insight into the types of customers that work really well for those. So for instance, we can offer details of businesses that fall within, I would say, your business sweet spot. So you may have a, a specific type of customer that uh, works really well with you or you have a lot of uh, success off a customer off a specific industry. We can tap into data and provide you with customer or essentially business information um, of specific seat size, customers of a certain turnover, customers that fall into a certain industry, um, the amount of users that they've got, and we can provide those business information details to you for your team to tap up and contact and um, to try and drive a, a sales qualified lead out of that. And that's something that we can provide on a, a, through this Accelerate program as well, which partners absolutely love. Um, another thing as well that I just want to call out is the solution architects. So if your team is maybe starting out or doesn't have um, a sufficient amount of technical knowledge across everything, because nobody can be an expert in every single thing that Microsoft does. It's like a minefield out there. We have solutions architects at your disposal that you can contact and speak to around specific requirements that your customer may have. So if you need assistance in direct routing for Teams or apps within Teams, if you want to develop an app, or if you have a very specific requirement for a customer within Tune, or you're not quite sure how to develop Windows Autopilot or something like that, we have solutions architects that can jump on a call with you or with your customer as well and have a chat around what is the best scenario to take their environment to and how can and how they can develop that. And again, they can you can speak to them just on a one-on-one -on -one basis just for a bit of clarity or assurance that you're you're thinking of uh, the right thing for this customer. You just wanted a bit of clarity. You can also speak to them for guidance from that as well. Um, so they're they're available uh, on hand as well. Um, the other thing as well is we've got things like 30 days free. So obviously, this is the only time I'm going to say it, but this pandemic uh, has obviously seen a massive shift to the cloud. Um, it's really give customers that kind of kick uh, that's needed to say, look, we've been telling you for years, you need to you need to start thinking about the cloud. Well, this pandemic has helped Microsoft achieve something that's, that's been taking them a long time to do, and that's Teams adoption. Um, amongst various other things. Well, Ingram is uh, is helping partners onboard new customers to the cloud by offering 30 days free. And that's 30 days free on selected licenses. So if you've got customers that are looking to get business standard or business premium, or even Microsoft 365 E5, Ingram will, uh, will give you 30 days free on those subscriptions. Uh, and there's no limit on them, obviously on the SMB ones where they're up to 300 uh, per SKU. But if you've got a customer who you know needs a couple of hundred seats on N365 E5, we will give you the month free to get that customer onboarded, to give them that bit of uh, financial assistance, we'll say, um, to make that um, make that stand right now and assist them. And then obviously you can see out there as well the free migration, which we're helping partners with. So obviously we have the likes of our comms care um, sister company, which can assist with migrations and things like that. But we also have partners in it with other vendors such as Avpoint. And if you're bringing new customers on to M365, we can uh, offer you free migration for those customers as well and bring them from on-premise as well. But there's there's a whole host of different things there. I just wanted to call it some of the real, the real money attention kind of uh, information pieces there because this is what I hear and, and see most from our partners. And just at the very bottom uh, there you can see as well, if you do want to find out a bit more information, uh, we do have a, a, a web URL, uh, just microsoft.ingramicrocloud.com forward slash MW. Or if you just type in Modern Workplace Accelerate Program into Google or Bing, uh, you'll find all the details there. But, uh, but yeah, I think I was talking quite fast there. So apologies for any of people who need a translator. But um, yeah, uh, we'll have a Q&A session uh, at the end if you have any further questions on the Modern Workplace piece. Uh, so I'll hand over to Matt. Perfect. Thanks, Pete. Uh, just to say as well, I don't think I mentioned it at the start. There is, uh, you've probably already seen it watching this, but there is a Q&A box to the right of uh, where you can see our presentation. Uh, feel free to put any questions in there. We'll answer those at the end. Um, but yeah, uh, on to the Dynamics 365 Accelerate program. Um, so I'm just going to spend a bit of time talking through this. Um, I'm going to focus on the why to begin with. There's plenty of reasons why that you can see kind of flying out on the screen now. Um, 
And I mean, we've got more information on these, but there are some great benefits as to why partners should now be starting to think about adding Dynamics 365 into their offering if they haven't already uh, done so. Um, so things like uh, the reduction in churn rate, we see typically a typical Microsoft 365 reseller uh, standard churn rate of around 20, 25%. And that's not necessarily uh, customers moving from, uh, from Microsoft. Uh, it could just be moving from one reseller to another, but we've seen by adding Dynamics 365 into the offering, that churn rate drops to less than 5%. And if you're already transacting Azure as well, that churn rate drops to less than 1%. So you essentially become that one-stop shop for your customers. We actually, the way I actually describe Dynamics 365 is almost like a beachhead product that once you get Dynamics in, uh, the other workloads do follow. Uh, the integration, uh, or even better word, embeddedness uh, with Microsoft 365 and Dynamics is really powerful, the, the fact that you can just amend things in Dynamics 365 right from Teams, for example. Uh, so it improves a lot of productivity. And we see that that really does drive a really good adoption. Uh, and as I say, it improves the churn rate. Uh, I've already mentioned the Azure consumption, but it does drive Azure consumption as well. Um, we see you're actually 10 times more likely to transact Azure following a Dynamics 365 sale uh, than you are a Microsoft 365 sale. So it's really helping our Azure partners uh, grow their Azure business while having a brand new revenue stream as well with Dynamics. Uh, it also drives, going back to modern workplace, it drives the high-end SKUs of Microsoft 365 as well. Um, which is really great. It's really helping with that upgrade. Essentially, they're on an old version of Office 365, uh, you know, getting them up to do sort of Microsoft 365, E3, E5, Dynamics really does enable that. Um, so I've already mentioned the one-stop shop. It is a big focus every area for Microsoft. Every uh, March and October when there's the release wave, it's massive. Um, the amount of new features, new functionality coming constantly all the time is amazing. And a lot of uh, what they did on the last one really did show that they were kind of, um, you know, listening to the state of the world, if you like, and a lot of it was Teams integration and improving that and continuing to grow that out. Uh, but it is an area of focus. It's also the highest uh, rebate earner uh, for any of you gold and silver partners out there that earn Microsoft rebates. It's the highest earner. Um, so it's definitely something uh, to be thinking about. And also, it's not just about the, the viewers' partners. It's also about the end customer. In one of the uh, Gartner Economic Studies, uh, for every one pound, oh, yeah, one pound spent, um, sorry, for every one dollar spent on uh, Dynamics 365, the return on investment for the end customer is around seventeen dollars. So massive return on investment uh, for the end customer as well that we're seeing. Um, so again, that really goes to go back to that churn rate type message. You know, if you're adding that much value to your end customers, helping them do more, be more productive, uh, give them a better CRM and ERP system. Uh, that in, is embedded with Microsoft 365, something that they're already using. They're going to love you. They're going to stay with you. Um, so there really are some great reasons why, um, and some I haven't mentioned, but uh, we can have a further conversation if need be. How we go about that with our Dynamic 365 Accelerate program, we have, you know, I always talk about the more as a service, uh, the tagline for Ingram, and I think the Dynamics program really does help us get that message across um, because of how much we actually do provide. So I'm going to kind of go from a start to finish type process um, and, and the kind of step by step that we go through in order to get a partner able to transact Dynamics 365. And you may be thinking you've potentially uh, dabbled in Dynamics already or you've thought about it. It is a long process without our Accelerate program. So if you've tried to do it just kind of on the standard route, um, you're talking 18 months, two years, a lot of investment, recruitment, all sorts. The way in which we've developed our program is to take those reasons why you don't currently transact dynamics and just make them no longer a problem. So if you've never implemented it before, if uh, your sales team have never had that kind of business-led um, conversation with end customers, we support there. Um, so all these reasons why you potentially don't do it, we make it so you can. Um, so training is provided. Um, there is obviously training through Microsoft Learn, um, the Dynamics 365 Fundamentals course. In my opinion, though, if that's the first thing you're going to see for Dynamics, it's quite long. Uh, it's about 15 hours worth of mainly reading. And, you know, people need to do a day job as well. So even if you said you're going to do an hour a day, you're still talking three weeks worth of learning. Probably forget what you learn on day one by day, day 15. Um, so we do a quite a basic training session where we talk about how you can go and approach customers, the kind of key selling points. 
and, and bring the applications to life a bit and tell story around the applications and talk through them all one by one. And we do that in around two hours. So, you know, we do that, we can do that over Teams. I mean, we've had no choice for the last year, but to do it over Teams, um, but we do provide training. Uh, you're also fully supported. So Pete mentioned it on his slide. We have pre-sales solutions architects as well for Dynamics um, that can help your sales team have that conversation. So if you've got a customer that's interested, we can jump on calls with you. We can talk to your customer. We can scope out that opportunity. Um, we also have practice development as a service. So we've partnered with Neural Impact. You may have seen them. They often present at things like Microsoft Inspire. They, they do a lot of Microsoft videos. So we've partnered with them. And they do a lot of videos and training for us when it comes to sort of sales and marketing. Uh, some of it is quite dynamics focused, but to be honest, I think whatever uh, cloud solutions you're focused on, I think there's definitely stuff you can take from that. Uh, but it is password protected on our Dynamics Accelerate website. You can see in the bottom right of the slide. So I'm more than happy to share that password with our partners. If, if you're interested, do get in touch and we can, uh, we can talk about that. Um, we provide marketing. We've got our go-to-market hub. We've got a lot of content and collateral in there uh, that's going to enable you to easily market Dynamics with the right messaging. Um, as, as well as that, there's, there's resources available for your Microsoft partnership for free marketing that you can download, put your own logo on and send out. So we just make sure you get the best of both worlds as well uh, when it comes to your marketing, but we provide all of that for you. We've also got implementation services. So as part of our program, we work with our elite service providers for Dynamics 365 that will do implementations on your behalf. Now, the good thing with that is you actually own the customer relationship still. So you sell the licenses, um, you're always the first line of contact, but you have another partner that's done thousands of these implementations time and time again that can do that implementation for you. I've already mentioned that you sell the licenses, so you get those Microsoft rebates, remember the highest earner for Microsoft, um, but you'll also get a percentage of the implementation cost as well. So it really does enable you to have this brand new revenue stream whilst not taking any focus away from what you're currently doing as well. Um, so yeah, I'd say there's no risk, no investment. We've had, to put it in perspective, we had a partner that we trained on a Thursday for Dynamics and we got their first opportunity on the Monday. Um, and it was just in a general conversation, their catch up with their customer, uh, happened to mention something about a bad CRM system and because of the training that we've done, was able to have a very basic conversation and then get that call booked in with us and we supported the rest of the way and we and we got that sale and there's, a, there's numerous of uh, occasions where it's been very similar. Um, so it is the fastest way to build a Dynamics practice. We do have a next level to this, which is our Dynamics Angels program. I won't go too much into that, but essentially we can train you to actually do implementations as well. Um, that's all I'm going to cover off now. I'm going to hold some stuff back. I've seen some questions coming in, so I'm going to hold back for the Q&A. And I'm going to hand over to John to talk about our Azure Accelerate program. Lovely. Cheers, Matt. Um, so, yeah, so, so like I said, my name is John Twillian. I'm a, a PDM here. I've spent the last sort of six or seven years working in the partner world. So when I joined Ingram Micro Cloud, for me, it was really about understanding how we can engage with partners and, and help them understand the wonderful world that is Microsoft. And I think one of the things I really like about Accelerate is that Accelerate grows with you as a partner. So it has those different levels which, which enable you to draw down and access different things that are really relevant to you at the time. And from an, uh, an Azure point of view, what we look to do is focus on sort of four key areas. So customer demand and generation, which is really important to help you um, find new business. As we know in, in the world, the way it is at the moment, without too many cliches, everybody's really focused on kind of bringing in net new, but also supporting businesses out there that need to make those changes and move to the cloud. Um, so as part of our, our program, depending on which level you, you fit into, we offer um, an, amount of an amount of propensity leads or propensity data, which basically gives you that starting block to really start to understand those customers. And there's lots of different things we can do at Ingram Micro with marketing as a service and our BI and account-based marketing, those kind of things, which will start to sort of hone in on those contacts and really understand which types of businesses and industries you want to want to work with. We then start to look at services, so you can access, um, as, as the, the chaps have already mentioned on the call, some of that technical alignment that, that we have within the program. So um, one of the other stages being account management will we'll give you a dedicated SA resource, so solution architect resource, which isn't just about sort of the reactive phone calls and documents and answering questions. It's about technical enablement. So it's either utilizing what we have and, and through comps 
professional services, but it's also about um, helping our partners learn. So if you want to become self-sufficient at some point, or if you want to go down a learning path, then the SAs are in, in, in charge of kind of envisaging what that looks like and making sure that you're accessing the resources um, through some of the short step programs, some of the exams and, and really honing in on what it is you should be or, or how you should be engaging. Um, just to give you an idea about the, the Azure team, so we've got 17 dedicated IS associates, so that's split across sales and technical. Um, and as part of that, we, we like to work through our accelerator program with a, P, uh, a PDM lead. So the partner development manager is, is there to make sure that you're getting the best benefits of the Azure accelerator program, but also to make sure the right people are engaged at the right time. Um, they're moving into kind of pricing and offers and that kind of thing, so the real commercial sales part. Um, Accelerate allows you to access things like App Now. So most people on the call will know that SQL Server 2008 and Windows Server uh, 2008 R2 all went over end of life fairly recently. So we, our Accelerate programs allow us to build purpose, make campaigns and information for you to send out to your partners. Through go-to-market hub, as, as Matt mentioned, uh, it just means that you've got that there ready to use. And this information is coming from us as experts as well as the vendor. So it means it is um, hot off the press and it's the right thing for you to be talking to your customer about. And that's a question that get asked a lot when people start engaging with us around Azure is, what do I sell or how do I sell it or what kind of partner do Microsoft want us to be? Um, and the Accelerate programs are all geared up to make sure that we're, we're, we're working towards those guidelines and sometimes helping our partners find their niche in the market. Um, we also uh, have some stats. So one thing that I'm really impressed by, I'm really proud of from an Azure point of view is that in Microsoft's FY20, our tier one partners, so our elite partners on Accelerate grew by an average of 300%. Um, which is fantastic. If you look at the market, the average growth in the UK is 85%. So it's a real enhancement on uh, on what people and partners are already being able to do. And for us, it's all about growth. These four stages and the steps that we take through Accelerate is all about helping our partners achieve their goals, helping them grow at the right rate, and helping them utilize the resource and support that we can offer as a business, which is um, which is definitely really important. So I think for me, Accelerate, whether we look at any of the three disciplines, is all about that partner process and, and, and the steps you want to take and how you want to go through it. Also understanding the vendor so you can really get a hone in on, on, like I say, how Microsoft wants to engage and what resources you have access to. And for us being the expert there, because depending on where you come into to Ingrid Micro, if that's a, a brand new partner who you haven't sold Dynamics, you haven't sold Azure, maybe you've sold a bit of Modern Workplace or, or vice versa, any kind of variation of that. And the Accelerate programs really allow you to get that entry point uh, and like I say, utilize what we have on offer to, to support our partners. Well, if you're coming into the, the, the top end, and, and part of my role is actually speaking with new partners and um, helping them understand what Ingram Micro can offer them, there's still a lot of benefit to what Accelerate can offer you. So you, you, you can access some of the higher benefits, which is great. Um, you can also start to hone in on those that alignment and really developing that technical element. But when it comes to things like new business, um, the, the propensity data and the leads that we offer really kind of allow you to, to utilize that. So it's about understanding from you as a partner which area of Accelerate is really going to help and, and how that can help benefit you. Um, so that's probably that's probably my bit on Azure. Um, it's, it, with the Accelerate programs, they're all kind of geared up in the same way, right? So once we get to me being last, there's some different traits there, but it's um, but yeah, it, it's really important part of how we engage with our partner base. Definitely. I, th I think one thing you called out, which uh, and I think Pete mentioned it as well, that I think is really important to, to get across on this one is our partners that are joining these Accelerate programs in these, um, we'll, we'll say, solution areas are growing faster than the channel average. I think, you know, John, you've called out perfectly on your slide. It wasn't really a bullet point on my one, but it's what we're seeing. Um, and we're growing so much faster because of it. We, you know, from a dynamics perspective, we've seen our dynamics partner base and partners that are actually transacting dynamics double over double over the last year um you know in, as, as you can see here they grew by an average of three point three hundred percent on uh, on azure i know that pete mentioned it on modern work as well they're growing faster than channel average so it does you know that statistic alone shows the value of these these programs um so yeah. i just wanted to add that bit in at the end there <laughs> Um, so just a little bit of a summary then, uh, you know, we always talk about the more as a service, you probably see that a lot from Ingram things, it's more, 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 more. So just to kind of hit home some of these points, um, you know, the things that we are able to provide, um, you know, I'm not going to read these out one by one, um, you know, I'm sure everyone uh, watching this can, can read, 
Um, <laughs> but, you know, if, if, if John or Pete, you want to add anything to anything that's on here, that's actually great. I will quiet and let you speak. Um, but say, think, I've, got know, one, I've got one thing that really quickly. Um, one of the things that I find that whenever we, I've been talking about the Accelerate program in the past and whenever I've been talking about growth strategies, especially for 2021, one of the things that really hits home for, for, for some of the partners that I've been speaking to recently is that if you're not talking to your customers about how you can supply them solutions across their entire environment, if you're just selling into them, uh, Modern Workplace or you're just selling into Azure or, you're, or, or maybe Dynamics is a, a bit of a, a, a swear word or something like that and you're like, oh, and um, we can help you across that because if you're not having that conversation, somebody else will be. And if you don't get in on time, that's one of the things that we're seeing a lot of in the minute in the channel is customers are moving between providers because yeah. they're seeing sometimes partners just being a license pusher. You know, they're not seeing the added value yet. Yeah, the price can be fantastic. The support can be great, but they kind of want to consolidate yeah. everything into one area. You know, one of the things I always think of yeah. is, uh, it's how my bills are. I have BT TV, BT Mobile, but then I've got you know various other different providers for other things in my house. <laughs> but then you you know you'll find some people that have Sky for everything, and that consolidation, yeah. one yeah. bill, one invoice, is really helpful for 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 a lot of customers. And working with Ingram across these different accelerate programs and the different cloud strategies, I've been in calls with Matt before and John before with with our partners where where, where we share. And we've we've seen really really great success off off our customers um, because of this, and it's uh, yeah it really it really excites me when I talk about that because it really it hits you whenever you think about your own kind of bills and invoices and and, and things like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think, um, and, and oh, go on, sorry, John. Yeah, so I was just going to say, Matt, you made a good point earlier when you said that um, by enhancing your offering and, and selling dynamics to your partner that might increase your model workplace might increase your azure so by via venturing out into these other areas there's actually a lot of comparable sales that come through as well so if you see yourself as a dynamics house or an azure house or we don't touch dynamics or azure or model workplace because it's too difficult um the accelerator programs open that up so it means that you can do it and, and pete's point's perfect right i when i worked in the partner world um there was a lot of LSPs and bars and MSPs and all these fantastic three-layer acronyms that we all love in IT that um, that wouldn't venture into different areas. And it does make you, when it comes to RFPs or larger corporate customers, can really make it, it difficult for you. And, and when you have to um, to kind of sort of move into other areas or try and suggest other things, it, it doesn't always work for your end user. So I really would suggest kind of opening up those conversations and, and at the very least making yourselves available to resell those products. And then as you start to learn with Accelerate, you can you can really offer it as a, as a, as a true offer. 100%. I mean, you know, yeah, you've both hit some really good points there. And it's something that we've seen in the, in the CRM and ERP spaces you know, let's say you're a partner that doesn't offer uh, Dynamics 365 or any CRM and ERP solution, they will go somewhere else. They will go, they have to have those solutions to run their business. And that could actually hinder your business with them. If they go somewhere and they get Dynamics from someone else, they might move their other Microsoft licenses there. Or it could be completely different and they use a solution that's going to push them onto a different, you know, maybe G Suite which might push them onto AWS. And if you're doing Microsoft 365 and Azure, you're going to lose that customer because the CRM, the ERP is so important to the business that it's kind of, that's why I call it that beachhead product because it's kind of other solutions follow off the back of the CRM system. Um, you know, even if they're going to be using something else, um, you know, they might they might go and use Sage, for example, for ERP. They will want to talk about does it integrate with Microsoft 365? Well, nothing integrates better with Microsoft 365 than Dynamics uh, when it comes to CRM and ERP. So, um, yeah, some some really good points there. Um, I can see we've got loads of questions coming in, so I want to make sure we've got time for for those. Um, with regards to this webinar, you can watch this back on demand, um, and we have loads of content coming up. Uh, so you'll see that on our LinkedIn. So it's definitely worth going and following the Ingram Micro Cloud UK LinkedIn page. Uh, and then feel free to connect with John, Pete, or myself, because uh, we share a lot of this content as well. Um, but across all three clouds, we've got some really great uh, virtual uh, events coming up and, and webinars. Um, and a lot of the posts that we post on LinkedIn as well are really interesting to uh, to have a read through as well, whether it's blog posts and, and those kind of things. So uh, feel free to connect with us, but definitely follow that uh, that LinkedIn 
page. Um, so we're going to move on to the uh, the questions. Um, sounds like, like I'm moving on to the question round or something here. It's like a game show. Um, but we're going to start I'll be the host. I think. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I think if we take it in turns, um, Pete, if you want to lead the way, um, then we'll go kind of, we'll go around the table. Pete, then me, then you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, Sounds no good. worries. So um, one of the questions that someone's asked here is, can I get marketing funding? Um, the question or the answer to that is absolutely yes. Um, at different stages throughout the Accelerator program, obviously the highest stage of the Accelerator program, we would give you some go-to-market funding and per calendar half. Um, I think that equates to about 12 grand a year. Now, um, if obviously you're not one of our elite partners or if it, it might be a tall order to get to that level of the program, um, for our develop uh, and fundamental partners, we do have bespoke um, kind of programs that run throughout the year. We're just coming, we're, we're just over the halfway point of our uh, Microsoft Security Expert program, where we were given over $2,000 for our partners to go and execute a marketing campaign on security solutions. We provided them training, um, and then we provided them the uh, the marketing development funds. And we do have other programs throughout the 2021 uh, for other solutions where we can provide marketing funding for that as well. So yeah, absolutely. Awesome. I feel like I need to stretch out my answer to this question. That was a really good answer, but my one's really simple. Uh, can you join more than one Accelerate program? Uh, short answer, yes. Uh, we'd actually recommend it. Um, you know, you can, as we've mentioned, you know, partners joining these programs are growing faster than the channel average. Join all three. You're going to be growing in all three areas faster than the channel average. And we've got that focus heads. John did a really great uh, job before talking about the Azure team. You have the very similar structure in the modern work side of things, really focused team in that area, and then the same for Dynamics. Um, all Microsoft certified. So it's, it's a really great um, structure that we can really support you uh, to help you grow across all areas. Um, John, you've got a question? Yes. Um, so this question basically summarized as, does it matter if we have no internal expertise? So from an Azure point of view, dynamics or modern workplace, it, it absolutely doesn't matter at all. Part of the point of Accelerate is um, for those entry-level partners is, is to help you really understand um, the product set, so the basics, the sales side of it as well, but also um, to enable you from a technical point, as I mentioned earlier. So if you don't have anybody in your business right now that is technical in, in those areas, we definitely do. So their SA, SA alignment and support can definitely help. Comms care um, from a professional services, managed services, anything like that can help as well. And we do have some um, ready-built managed service offerings, point service offerings, out of the box stuff that you can use. So uh, my answer would be if, you, if you've um, if you've only ever heard of Dynamics or only ever heard of Azure or, or whatever, then um, please get in touch and we can really help you become experts, um, even if it is sort of utilised enough to start. Perfect. And uh, Pete, hey, over to you again. Yeah, yeah, I've got an, uh, another interesting one. Um, can the first month free be used for customers already on M365? So yes, it can be, um, but they cannot be a customer with Ingram. So the way in which I mean by that is, if you've got a customer who's with another partner and with another distributor, um, then yes, you can use the first month free as an offer to, um, if, if that's uh, if you want to move them onto your system. That also works if they're web direct. So if they're buying their licenses currently with Microsoft uh, Web uh, through you know web direct, um, and they want to come buy through a partner, then absolutely yes, you can do that as well. So you can offer them the first month free. But again, it has to be of those three different licenses. Um, so business standard, business premium, or M three sixty five E five. So if they if they're on you know business basic for instance at the minute, or they're on Office E uh, three, a good incentive to say you know let's move you on to a much better and suitable license. We'll give you a first month free. Perfect. You know you talking about the different Microsoft three five SKUs. People think Dynamics is complicated. Ever since the name changes, I can't keep up. <laughs> um, so many, um, so many name changes. <laughs> Got a question in for uh, Dynamics, uh, probably before I mentioned it, but um, it came in, so I will answer it. But it was, is there a way Ingram MicroCloud to enable partners to build their own Dynamics practice? Yes, you can. So as you probably uh, got the picture of with the Accelerate program, kind of what you hear Microsoft um, refer to as a partner-to-partner -partner program. One partner does the implementation, the other partner will sell the license to the whole customer. With the Angels program, uh, we will work with our elite service provider um, with the uh, pre-built packages that we have for rapid implementations, we can actually get you trained up to deliver those yourself. Not something you have to do. Not every partner wants to move into that space. 
But the beauty of that is we'll work with your existing team. So rather than you have to go in, recruit a developer um, to go and do all that build work yourself, that's when we talk about the 18 to 24 months to build your own practice, we can do it much quicker. And essentially, it's almost like the rule of three. You watch your implementation, you do one together, and then you do it and they watch you. That's, that's the kind of process we take. Um, I've really simplified it down there. But yeah, we can we can surely help you uh, build your own practice. Uh, John. Thank you. So my question is kind of around Microsoft programs. So Azure Assist was mentioned. So Microsoft offer a ton of programs that can, can help end users and partners progress deals. So whether that's from a POC element, it could be some bit of professional services, it could even be some support financially or, or technically towards that after part to deploy. Um, and although Azure Accelerate is in Grow Micro Build, so it's it's what we've created as a business, um, that alignment and that team management to the PDMs that I mentioned, they're, they're really in charge of making sure you're involved in all these programs and they're being utilized. Um, there's a ton of stuff there to understand, and, and we try and make that simple for you by, um, by, by helping you understand what they're like, but also when those deals are brought to us. And that's why we really like working with our partners, because we start talking about an opportunity, all of a sudden, our, either the PDM or the SA or even our internal teams will come out and say, Oh, there's a program that can help with that, and this is how you do it. So, um, so absolutely, any of those programs very much involved in this, and, and part of that team management will be to, uh, to develop a plan with you which encompasses utilizing those different areas. Awesome. Well, I've got, I've got a, another interesting one, something again for free. Um, do you offer free training to uh, to the partner or to the customer? So in terms of to the partner, yes, um, we do have various different things uh, for, from our Flight Academy. Um, so things at the minute, we're providing training um, and exam vouchers for the likes of the MS700, which is the Teams Administrator exam. We're providing training and an exam voucher for the MS500, which is the Microsoft Security Administrator exam. Um, and we're also, um, we also do have some special offers with some training providers here in the UK, where if you wanted a 50% discount, um, and if you wanted to put a, a selection of your, your technical team members onto like the MS100 or something like that, we can give you 50% off uh, the training course, which again would uh, return a, a voucher as well. Um, but in terms of uh, anything bespoke, or if it's just some basic sales training or, or fundamental sales training for any of your new starters, for instance, as well, um, we do have um, you know the capacity to you know provide um, PowerPoint presentations of training and enablement that way. And our short step team can also do some training. I think there's uh, there's some short step uh, fundamental N three hundred and sixty five fundamental training that's uh, that's on demand that you can access as well uh, for anyone who just needs a bit of a refresh as well. And in terms of to customer. It's not something that we would um, deliver, you know, directly to your customer. But um, there is some really great Microsoft sites which provide training videos to customers on how to use um, their 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 the features and products uh, within the Microsoft stack, um, which we can support you on there. Cool, Matt. Awesome. And then I've had one come in. Are there any? Oh, yeah. Uh, there are any uh, Dynamic 365 opportunities that the program wouldn't be able to handle, so I can't believe it was too big. Um, short answer on that one, no. Uh, the way in which we built our program and the elite service providers we work with, we make sure that essentially you never have to turn down another opportunity. Um, so if you do have a Dynamics opportunity or you're interested in the program, get in touch and we can, we can talk through it. That's absolutely fine. Uh, John. Perfect. Um, so yeah, my next one would be, uh, so someone's asked some questions around kind of propensity data, how that's delivered, how it's managed. So um, all the propensity data is uploaded into um, Go to Market Hub, as Matt sort of alluded to earlier. So for anyone that's not seen that, get in touch with your account manager or if you're new to Ingram, um, contact one of us on LinkedIn, um, which will share some details and stuff with them as well. Um, but go to Microsoft is our purpose-built marketing platform, which allows you to access a, a ton of information, ready-built campaigns, all that kind of thing. And as part of that, there's a, a lead area. And in there, that's where we would up, upload um, any of that information to. You can uh, download it from there. You can assign it to different people. You can support campaigns and things, all that kind of stuff. So the idea of this data, like I say, is really based on the criteria you decide. Um, it's really to help you uh, along the way and as part of that growth message. So, uh, so, yeah, so it's really easy to use, really simple to download, um, really easy to access. Awesome. Looks like we've got kind of uh, three more uh, three more questions. So it's nice and easy, that one more each. 
Um, let's have a look. Pete, if you want to answer one more. Uh, yeah, so I've got one here that's, um, I think it's, it's basically for all of us, really. How do we activate each benefit in the programs? Um, well, it's it's not really a, a case of activating them. You you get them automatically. I would say just reach out to your account manager or your PDM um, and just say, look, I'm interested in this benefit. Can I, you know, can, can I can I open it up? Can I use it now? Can you provide it to me? Um, and that's that's the simplest way, I guess, really. Um, I, I, that's from a modern workplace perspective. I'm not sure about Azure and Dynamics. I think it's the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly the same. Uh, you know, once you're onboarded and you want to do the Dynamics Accelerate program, you have access to our dynamic team here at Ingram Micro Cloud. We'll support you with the training. Um, you know, nice and simple to book the training in. You just have to uh, speak to us and we can book that for you. It's nice and simple over Teams. Um, but yeah, as soon as you've got opportunities, you gain access to a pre sales solutions architect, you get access to all the marketing collateral. Um, yeah, you get access to absolutely everything on the dynamic side of things. Um, hey, John? Yeah, similar. So, uh, so yeah, I think the idea is that we're we're keeping that transparency across the across the um, what do you use? solution areas. That was a really good term, man. I'm trying to remember the same word. Um, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense to me. Perfect. Uh, last question for that's coming uh, towards uh, me is: Can we be introduced to the elite service provider partners before any opportunities? And the answer is yeah, and we would actively encourage that. So, uh, you know, I mentioned before on that kind of sales process for dynamics that once you got an opportunity you know we have the solutions architect that ingram kind of scope that out and then we introduce in our elite service provider but we can get you introduced into the elite service provider prior to any opportunity being there so for example uh you know let's say we do your dynamics training then we can get you introduced in straight away and the beauty of that is you know we've mentioned all these great resources you have like marketing and all those kind of things but actually what you can do is um, potentially do some joint marketing with our elite service providers. They've got some amazing Dynamics content. But let's say, for example, you know that, I don't know, 80% of your customers are using Stage for their finance solution. And you're thinking that's a good opportunity to do Stage to Business Central. Um, once you've done your training, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about there when I say Business Central, if you don't already. Um, but they've got loads of content for that. And they can do webinars with you. They can do marketing for you. They can provide you with more content. So. Yeah, we would love uh, to get those introductions made fairly quickly. And, and that way you can put more faces to names and, and you've got that relationship building then. So, uh, yeah, um, definitely. Um, John, there's one more question for you. Yeah, so this is around uh, kind of the tiered system. So within the uh, Accelerate program, like I said, there's three levels, three tiers. And it's based on your your spend. And some of that is... Um, some of that is direct spend, so just your your spend on Azure, spend on Dynamics, etc. Some of it might be some strategical areas. So it might be the fact that we we've, we've we built a business plan together in a business case, and we we decided to to perhaps put you in a different tier. Um, and the question basically says, um, if I fall, if my I lose a customer, my numbers fall, am I sort of straight out of that tier? And the answer to that is, is going to be no. I mean, we have the tier system for a reason. However. Things happen in business, right? And what we don't want to do is just uh, one day you lose a customer and go, oh, sorry, you can't have any of these benefits. So it's all about us working with you and helping you get back to that fear. And, and Accelerate programs will definitely help you do that anyway. Um, but we, we're not a, a business that just turn around and kind of shut the door. It's more a case of let's help you get back there and utilize those benefits to really see see what we can do. Um, so all of our Accelerate programs, and I'm, I'm fairly confident speaking for all of us, right? It's all about helping that, supporting that partner and helping them back there. So, um, so yeah, absolutely. Perfect. So that seems to be all the uh, all the questions that have come through. I see that we have one more come through whilst we were whilst we were talking, but it looks like Emma, who is uh, who's in control of On24 and the uh, the platform that we're presenting on right now, has answered that um, in a message. But it's around the the data that the um, the propensity leads actually include. Um, so hopefully you've answered your question there um, around that. But if you are interested in that propensity data and talking to us about that. Uh, there's potentially that there's opportunity in your existing customer base as well using Microsoft propensity tool, Cloud Ascent. We've done a lot of work on that. Um, so, yeah, there's there's plenty of ways that we can help you with lead generation. So uh, the best thing to do, I would say, is to reach out to us. Uh, and that's not just for one particular cloud. Uh, that's across all clouds. Um, but, but Dynamics is the best. Um, I'm going to end it there. Uh, no, um, thank you very much for um, everyone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> uh, thanks for everyone that's joined us today. Um, and thanks, Pete, John, for, for presenting uh, with me and, and coming up with the ideas for this webinar. Um, hopefully, it's been a good one. Hopefully, we haven't, um, you know, uh, bored you to death. You know, that's why we kept it nice and short from a, from a, um, a presentation perspective. We didn't want to have too many slides. So, uh, no, big thank you from me. Um, any final words from my co-presenters, feel free. Um, but if not, we can close it there. Now, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday afternoon. It's very miserable out there today. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and um, and def definitely get in touch, right? If you want to talk to any of us about any of these disciplines, about Ingram Micro in general, um, we love to uh, to get in front of people and have conversations. So just let us know. And take, a, take an umbrella if you are going outside for some exercise, because it is really <laughs> very, very bad, as he said. Yeah. And well done quickly, just to us three. No one's gone on mute, and there's been no kids or anything running in the room. So I think that's pretty good for a, for a webinar. Yes, done at home. Actually, it is actually, yeah. No, no distractions or anything like that at the minute. Exactly. That, for me, that's a success. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Thank you.